hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is ty if you're new welcome this video is to show you guys how to make this sexy lingerie robe here step by step so if you would love to see how i create this look keep on watching all right guys so i am starting off with chiffon fabric i'm about this is about three yards i want to say um so yeah three yards of chiffon fabric um you can find this um any at any fabric store um joann's hobby lobby um local fabric stores in your area um i found this at my local um fabric store here in dallas and it was only like three dollars a yard but i can definitely leave a link um at the um excuse me in the description box um of chiffon fabric if in case you want to just order it offline so um what i'm doing first is i'm starting off um, with the sleeves this is just to show you that i'm using scissors but you can use that little blade as an alternative it gives you a cleaner cut um, right here I am using a random sleeve pattern um, that I had laying around um, and I'm going to fold it in half and you can use any type of sleeve pattern that you would like you can use sleeves on a shirt you can use sleeves on an actual robe um, as a guide you can um, go to the fabric store and purchase some actual uh, well a actual um robe um pattern um which i highly prefer because it's an actual robe pattern and you're making a robe so you know it only is right to actually purchase a actual robe pattern from the put from you know from the store or whatnot but um yeah whatever floats your boat as long as it's cute sis just you know do you so um yeah so i'm starting off with the sleeves first and then just um again just a reminder that this is being cut on a fold okay make sure it's folded before you cut okay All right, so we are going to start with the back of the rope first. Um, once again, I am using another random piece of uh, a random fabric piece or whatnot, um, just so I can have some type of guide, um, more so just for the neckline and for the armpit area. Then after that, I just freestyle the cut. If you're new to sewing, I don't recommend um, you freestyling the cut. Um, just because I don't think it's, you know, that smart. <laughs> just because if you're new to this, you know, you want to do it the right way. Um, I'm pretty, you know, good at eyeballing things. Um, considering I've made a ton of these and I'm so, I've been sewing for some time now. So I can, you know, eyeball uh, how, you know, the size of how something should be or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend that you use an actual, um, you know pattern for this style here or this look all right so the back is done now we are going to do the front once again a random pattern that I had laying around um, all I'm using that one again just for the armpit and because the neckline goes more in a slant and that's the type of uh, front that you want because it's a row so you'll be able to you know cross it over you know when you tie it closed or whatnot so um yeah I'm just using this pattern just so I can get cut the armpit out and um, cut that neckline out um, what's going to happen is uh, you're not going to cut this on a fold you are going to cut two of these so you see what I'm doing right here I'm just cutting off that um, fold there so that way when you cut you have two separate pieces one right side and one left side Show the producer. 
producer. It shows the producer. Alright, so that's pretty much what the front's going to look like. So what I recommend doing is before you even sew anything together, you um, just want to pin um, the front and the back together just so you can see what it's looking like. Um, make sure that it's um, the appropriate size for you and it's going to fit. Um, if you want to trim it, make it a little shorter, by all means go ahead. Um, this part right here, um, if you are sewing it, Make sure that you fold it and fold it twice. So it's like you're gonna fold it down and you're gonna kind of tuck the ends away and then you're gonna do a top stitch um, close. If you have a serger, which I highly recommend, um, you don't have to fold it. You can just go ahead and just, you know, put it in a machine and zip it through so you can get that clean finish. Um, sergers are like, my best friends um, they are quick and easy and <laughs> it just doesn't take up so much time like it's really fast like see boom I just did one shoulder like and it, it gives you that clean finish and I love that it cuts off um, whatever access um, fabric that you have if you did a miscut or whatnot like surgeries are amazing so um i meant to show what my what I'm, i was trying to do is i was trying to show you two different ways on how to um apply uh sleeves um however i don't know how but i'm missing some footage on me showing you guys that um so i am definitely going to have to make a separate video on how to make sleeves and apply them you know attach them to your garments um but what i'm doing is i'm taking one sleeve first and i'm just sewing it closed before i even attach it to the um robe here so i just finished one sleeve and then here you're going to see me um attach it to the robe and then just sew the um armhole area um but before i do that i take one side of the robe and i uh stitch it close So once you stitch that side uh, closed, then you'll add the um, sleeve here and you will just sew the armhole. Um, if you, um, I'm hoping that you guys kind of see what I'm doing or I'm um, getting at it. I kind of I hate that I lost the uh, that footage, but I will definitely make it my duty to um, post a um, video on how to properly um, add sleeves to um, any garment. And we have the sleeve attached and the whole uh, left side of the robe is done. So um, this was the second way I was trying to show you guys. Um, I just opened up the side. Um, I didn't stitch the, this side closed first. So what I did was I just added the corner of the um, sleeve and the corner of the uh, robe um, by the armpit area. And I just, um, how can I, I'm trying so hard to 
um, explain it without confusing you guys. But I just took the two corners and just uh, put them together. And then I pretty much am sewing around the shoulder. Um, you know that stitch that's um, going around the armhole? Yeah, I'm pretty much sewing that part together first. I'm hoping that makes sense. And then, as you, um, well, you can see it here. And then once I do that, then I'll start from the um, top of the um, sleeve there where your wrist is. And then you'll sew all the way down. But before you do that, you want to make sure that seam, um, that's where your armpit is. You want to make sure that seam is uh, meeting up together so that way um, all the seams are, you know, aligned and neatly or whatnot and they're not crooked or anything so once you do that then you just want to sew everything closed um, from the wrist all the way down and then voila you'll have this and what you'll see me doing here is I'm just cutting off any excess fabric cleaning cleaning it up and then off camera I went and I surged all the way around the robe here um, if you don't have a serger again, then just use your sewing machine and go ahead and just tuck it. Um, you want to tuck it and fold it twice. Tuck it in and then fold it away. Um, just make sure those ends aren't showing and then just do a top stitch. Real easy. So right here we are adding the trim. These are called feather boas or boas or fur boas. Um, they're everywhere. Walmart. Um, Walmart, um, fabric stores, Joann's, Hobby Lobby's, Amazon, Etsy, they're everywhere. But right here, I'm just showing you how I um, apply them. Uh, I'm not going to sew them on camera because um, I don't have enough footage left. But yeah, I'm just showing you. I just pinned them first. You want to make sure that you tuck the um, stitch part. You want to um, fold it in again. And then you can either hand stitch it or you can um, stitch it on the sewing machine and voila. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, it's very simple, very easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.